Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 Today is November 25th, 2021. It's 4.53 a.m. I got up around 2, lay in bed. Thank God I fell back asleep again. And then I got up around 4-ish. And I was just laying in bed and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, you know what? Let me come and record. And uh, today is uh, Thanksgiving. I then edit two of the videos that I did yesterday and now I'm adding more to it. Yesterday while I was chilling on my couch, the squad were tweeting a lot of stuff and they, some of them are really funny the way they respond to some stuff. So I said, you know what, let me come and record. Whenever I have time, I'll just edit. All right, yesterday I was really tired after I finished edit the day prior video. And uh, after that, I became lazy completely. Once my husband said he's gonna pick up the kids, completely laziness struck me i don't know i guess when i know i have to do certain things i have to go back out go pick up the kids do different things you know i'm tense and um and things like that so as soon as my husband said oh i'll go pick up the kids oh my god my body just like flush i could not do anything normally when i have time I like to finish edit whatever video that I have for the day. That way they don't pile up. But yesterday I was not in the mood, not in the mood at all. And the worst thing is that I wasn't even hungry. While I was uh, recording, I was drinking coffee. And once my coffee was done, I ate some wheat thin. And I think that ruined, it ruined my appetite because I don't normally eat anything like that early it was maybe four or five o'clock that i ate the wheat then and it ruined my appetite the entire day so i was around the house i wanted to eat something i don't know what to eat went in my freezer i saw <laughs> i have hagen dazs coffee ice cream so i ate that oh my god my ass was freezing oh my god i was really cold and that added to my laziness 
once I finished ate that, I just crawl up, you know, on the couch, covered up, and just watch some of the squad's um, videos, videos that I didn't um, see, or some of them, and I watch uh, Sussex Squad podcast, the the episode, I'm glad they recorded it because I caught uh, the last 30 minutes of it when they were doing it on Twitter. I was invited to come and join them, but I didn't see it until like 30 minutes before it was over. And so that was the podcast that I watched and I listened to it completely. It was really good. And I think I had two comments in it. One, I forgot what I said. The other one, I put the link of uh, my um the video that I did on her app, You Team Sussex, about journalism. So I put that link there because they were talking about journalism. Um, I thought the, the conversation was really good. So I was able to listen to all of it again. And I prepped my turkey and the rest. <laughs> I, I post a picture of the turkey on, um, on IG. Is that um, I, a lot of time when I eat turkey of other people, when they cook the turkey whole, the turkey look really nice, but you don't get any taste of the meat because I don't know the way they cook it. So once you cut the turkey, you don't really get the the seasoning inside, but outside it looks nice and everything. So what I did, I, I'm not a good cook. What I did with the turkey, my husband got from work, they gave it to him, is uh, I season it, wash it and everything. And I stir fry uh, onion, peppers, and put all my seasoning in it. And then I, I don't have a, a how will I say that, a huge pot where it will submerge in it while it's cooking. So the meat will start uh, soften. I don't have that, but I have a huge cast iron um, skillet, I guess you call it. So I, that's where I started cooking it. So every 30 minutes, I'm turning the turkey. Thank God it didn't break, uh, break while I was turning it. So I let it sit in there. It was cooking all day yesterday. So today it's in the stove. So now like the juice is like, it gave a lot. I mean, a lot of uh, juice and uh, that will be the broth that uh, I'll be using to, you know, my kids don't really like sauce, but me and my husband uh, will use that when we eat. We were invited to different places his family, my husband's family invited us for Thanksgiving. My own family invited me for Thanksgiving. Before the pandemic, what the way we used to spend our holiday is that for Thanksgiving, we go to my family. And then for Christmas, we go to my husband's family. So since the pandemic, we didn't do any of that. So last year, we didn't do any of that. This year, we're not gonna do it because of the pandemic still. My family, uh, one of them had a baby during the pandemic and of course we have to keep the baby safe i, I don't know why they're inviting people over because people are gonna want to hold the baby and stuff like that so i was like you know what uh, let's just stay uh, giving ourselves another year stay away from people still and even while my kids are in school i'm still being very careful uh, with them you know especially my youngest he's not vaccinated yet i'm waiting after the holiday i'm hope you know, praying and crossing my fingers, he doesn't catch it because uh, everybody else in my uh, in the house, me, my husband, my oldest, we're all vaccinated except for my youngest because they just approved for his age group. So I was like, I even asked one of the nurse what she thought about my youngest. She even told me even herself, uh, she's holding back a little bit for her youngers, uh, her kids, the youngest one, uh, because she wants to test things out. That's what I, I don't want to be the statistic. I'm going to see, wait and see what the other t statistics are before I uh, give my uh, youngest. Definitely uh, after the holiday, Christmas, New Year's, uh, when he go back to school, I'm going to see what happened and then um, I'm going to schedule him to do it. Or even right after Thanksgiving, um, not Thanksgiving, Christmas, before he go back to school, I'm probably going to do that for him because once that's when everybody's with everybody kids going to different family members and stuff like that so maybe bef uh, during the christmas holiday maybe i'll uh, uh do that for him anyway so that's that 
I see there's new subscribers, new ones, welcome. I have another YouTube channel, that's my backup. It's app U Team Sussex. I think the link of that is in the description. Go there, occasionally I post stuff. So go there to support. I'm almost a uh, thousand subscribers where that backup channel could be monetized. So go there a lot of time when YouTube flagged me on here. This is my main channel and uh, I will throw it on my other channel for backup. Uh, you guys could still see it. All right, so new subscribers, welcome. And uh, let me see, today for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna put two videos up, all right? So that's this one. What did you expect? Uh, okay, what did you think was going to happen? I already scheduled for 6 a.m. And the other one is this one. It's only 6 minutes, 44 seconds. It's another quick drop-off. It was supposed to be out like two days ago, but YouTube held it to monetize, uh, check it to see if there's issues with it. So yesterday I realized they um, let it go. So I'm scheduled it for like 4 p.m. And there's a possibility I might let this one go too. Um, the same day because a lot of squad gonna be home so they release that one so I might let that one go and then uh, or maybe that one maybe that one all right the two small one all right so I'll do that after I finish record I'll fix the time and things like that all right but I need to leave some maybe I'll leave that one because the one hour one uh, this one one hour 28 minute I'll leave it for the 6 a.m. 6 a.m. but the small short ones maybe during the day today i'll let it go all right so let's go on twitter see what's going on This is the first one. Hi, so Sex Squad Podcast. It says, You know what I have running through my head? The time Lorraine thought she will dig up Megan's boyfriends from second grade to bash Megan, who is married with two kids. And he came on there and reminded the UK, especially the royal family, their role and transatlantic slave trade. Really? Did he? <laughs> I would love to hear it. Oh, thank God. She put it. My, I'm telling you, so Sex Squad podcast have a receipt. Okay, so this is it. 54 seconds. I might have to stop in between. I'm sorry. But this yep. people are something. Come up for a, a oh. lot of criticism. How do you think she will deal with that? Is she pretty good at that? You know, it seems like she's handling it well. I mean, she, she got on Oprah and she was very honest and... Um, transparent about our experiences with the royal family you know there's there's a history of racism uh that i'm sure you know within the royal family um that that goes way back to you know the transatlantic slave trade right so <laughs> the fact that megan was able to get on tv and um bravely talk about that is awesome and you know oh, whenever people okay i have to stop somewhere okay oh my god he did that that's good for him. Good for him. I mean, what do you expect? From second grade to adulthood, you went and, oh my God, how did they know? How the hell did they know that was him? This is freaking scary. Oh my God. People of color speak out against oppression and, and racism. Uh, generally, the public, uh, within the public, there's a huge backlash. The fact that she got up and spoke about that, even knowing that it could um, create a lot of tension between her and her family. Uh, I thought was really uh, uh, amazing and courageous on her part. Come up for a, a lot of criticism. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad he did that. That's good. <laughs> Thought they were gonna get dirt, just like um, his half siblings and father and stuff like that. Good for him. 
KITV and KP are perfectly suited. They all liars, xenophobic faces. They don't report news. They create them to attract faces, especially when it comes to Megan and her children. Okay, laughing my ass off. They have not effed with him since. <laughs> that, that's good. That man was waiting for his moment and he delivered. <laughs> was waiting for his moment and he delivered i want them to call him again <laughs> that's quite a something after yesterday i was coming across some really funny tweets they were serious but the way the squad spent it it's it's really good uh, i'm thinking now maybe when i do those tweets i want you guys to read along with me because sometimes when i'm editing the freaking mistakes that i see that i do when i'm reading those tweets i want you guys to read along with me but i think there's some people within the squad uh when they tweet they know i have the channel but they don't want me to share some of those things usually i share what i could see what everybody could see if people dm me i do not share those stuff if i go into some group conversation i do not share this okay but anything that anybody within the twitter world can see and the squad tweet them i share them with you because it's public so i think i came across maybe one or two tweets yesterday i saw the video from another account that i have but uh, when i view it here um i i can't see it so i'm wondering if when i'm doing the tweets if I could just put maybe different pictures, maybe the thumbnail of the video um, on the screen instead of the tweet. But I would, I like for you guys to read along with me in case I didn't catch some of my mistake. That's the thing here. So let me know. This video might be the last one until you guys uh, respond and let me know if I should just put a different screen. Uh, I know some of you are driving when you listen to me, but uh, for some of you who usually are home, or uh, maybe you listen to me when you're cleaning around the house or something, you don't really care either way, but um, let me know. What should I put on the screen? The thumbnail, the picture of the thumbnail, or the, 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 the text as I'm reading. But if there are videos like this one I just showed you, I will put it so you could see it. All right, so let me know. All right, let me continue reading. Okay, I want them to call him up again. Now, you know, they tore that man number up. <laughs> they tore it up. But why? He only told the truth. Okay, that's why uh, they tore his number up. I'm shocked they didn't go Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig and hang up mid-sentence. <laughs> LOL. What? I missed that. There it is. Mm-mm-mm my goodness people grow i mean what you did even in high school doesn't even matter anymore once you you know even after college people you dated back in high school and stuff oh my god they went what to second grade are they kidding me good for him i'm glad he changed this um the conversation good job i'm i bet you if it was the other guy the one that walked off the stage he would have cut him mid-sentence okay they've called him up since then uh, they have not called him up since then. No, ma'am, they haven't. I wonder why. <laughs> LOL. Well, yes, I remember. There, there's a video of that iconic moment for him. It was a win-win situation where he talked good of Megan and dragged the royal family. Could you please share? Okay, so these are people who probably didn't see uh, the video after she posted the main thing. So I got to see it. Okay, could you please share? How did you miss? Let me see. Okay, she posted again. Everybody who asked, she put the like. I remember this. That was so elementary. I was embarrassed for her. Okay, and he also destroyed the word basis narrative that Megan only dated white men. Oh, within that, ah, I didn't see that part. Well, to be honest, I don't think you can call a second grade boyfriend dating, but I get your point. Yep, yep, and got paid for it too. Really? Oh, look at even Sussex White Podcast said, did he? Okay. Oh, yes. I remember. She said something like, you're the one that got away. And he was like, I'm happily married. <laughs> yep. I remember. Oh my God. These people are freaking crazy. Wait, second grade? The desperation. <laughs> Sussex White responded like, yep. Okay. Haha. I remember. Your memory is a treasure chest. I'm telling you, Sussex White Podcast is something. Thanks for the fa flashback. Good time. I miss this one. He read her without breaking. I think of that at least once a day. It was glorious. 
<laughs> that's kind of something. Let me read a few more and then I go to the next one because I have a lot for you. Okay, wow, well, I didn't know about this. Where can I see it? And when was this? But, okay, OMG, I forgot about that. It was cool. Okay, her boyfriend was a badass just without uh, flinching going. Quote, yep, I know what game you're playing and I'm not playing it. Yep, that is true. Uh, X. Okay, he said, uh, uh, not so fast, Lorraine. <laughs> All right, that's the laugh. Oh, let me finish reading. Okay. Oh, yes, that was so funny. Got to remind the racist island they are the original colonizer. Okay, yep, glorious. The disappointment on her face was everything. Okay, baby, that was so good. I wish they will invite more Megan's childhood friends to drag the toxic UK. And there's a laugh. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. When the British royal family goes to meet her maker, what are the Brits going to be singing safe to? <laughs> I'll tell you, when the squad have nothing to talk about, the, the, the questions, the conversation that they create is ridiculous. <laughs> That's me responded. All right, they will be singing, save our ocean full of shit. <laughs> All right, there's another tweet. I'm more worried about the day I'm going to meet him. I don't even want to think about her disappointment with him. He is a God of great forgiveness and grace. His mercies are new every morning. I claim those for my journey. I'm a mess, so I need all those gifts. <laughs> he may shock us. <laughs> That's probably true. All right. That's why a lot of people who go don't come back because <laughs> we, we don't know how it is on the other side. But because just because we don't know, we don't have to fall with the things, the pain that uh, we know are very painful onto others. So, you know, it's best to treat people the way you want to be treated. Just in case he's like, hey, come in my heavenly sanctuary place, since whatever. You were a good person on the other side. All right. So let me continue with some my daily routine will be unchanged and I can guarantee you any changes after will be marginal. The royal establishment never do anything else. Okay, don't some of the lyrics say something like save the queen? Let's see here. I never sing it or follow the lyrics. I haven't been indoctrinated. <laughs> make my body, uh, make my own choices in life. Um, yeah, I mean, if you are in a, I don't know. Let me not say what I'm thinking. Uh, let me read a um, few and then I'll go to the next one. Make my own choices in life. I will never bow or courtesy to any of them. This is the 21st century, not medieval time. I mean, every country have a lyric to, for their uh, national anthem. So that's what she was asking. Let's see here. Listen, sis, I was thinking that just a few days ago, and I must, and I said I must ask a Brit, LOL. Okay, someone told me they will go back saving the king. I mean, obviously, because all the rest of the futures are guys. Uh, you have Charles, you have William, and the other one. Until, I guess, they wish if... Th some of them skip and go straight to Charlotte. Every one of them are guys. All right, just curious. What did they sing when Betty Daddy was king for that brief time, 16 years? Okay, they will be singing, God save our gracious king, long live our queen concert. <laughs> Who knows what happened in that little island? There's a laugh, probably saying God help our king. Okay, it will revert to the male version as it was for her daddy, King George. Okay, queen will switch to king. All right, let me go. <laughs> me, I said save our ocean because uh, they have sewage going into the thing. What happened is that um, those stories, from my understanding, you know, uh, some laws that happen and they just, you know what, let me not even say anything. Those companies who were supposed to treat those uh, sewage waters before it goes into the ocean, they don't even do that anymore. And I remember when Trump was in office there was some stuff like that that was happening in florida in florida something like that happened where uh some of the waters were toxic and sewage going into all of that it's ridiculous what these people do and, and when you think about it too these people they don't think the long run they think for some reason i really don't know what really goes in their head when they're doing this toxicity to the earth and all of that they think they have they're breathing something completely different from what all of us are breathing they think money is gonna save them when the air is polluted i really don't know unless their lungs their body is made up of completely different things than regular people because they're supposed to be breathing those same thing that everybody else is breathing they don't think they cherish 
money more than the natural stuff the air whatever god have put on earth for people to breathe in i really don't understand the mindset of these people all right next week okay i know y'all probably posted this but baby girl is trending in his hometown again all right let's see here uk national news trending prince william <laughs> that's this and she posts this picture along with it all right hopes he enjoyed the spotlight he so dearly craved for <laughs> and i said cheers to that 16 people like it <laughs> i don't know if some of you know what happened i saw the video of this i tried to share it with you but youtube took it down they literally blocked the video you can't watch it nothing so i had to redo the video completely put pictures of it and into like steps or whatever they still black it and i had to completely remove the picture the, the whole thing and redo it the third time the third time i had to remove the the thing is that this little girl her sister was having a birthday party right so they're saying happy birthday and then she waited when the little sister was about to blow the candle and she went and blew it first <laughs> she blew the candle first and then after she blew the candle the little sister was so upset she didn't get to do it she started pulling her hair hitting her and then after people uh, adults separate them and this is the face that she did <laughs> this is the face that she did and later on when i was reading the comment section people were saying they were sisters i thought she was a a neighbor or something one of the friends they invite to the party but no they sisters <laughs> this is the little face that she put after that <laughs> okay yeah and for all the wrong reason the, the squad putting pictures the uh, gif is <laughs> laughing and not for good reason <laughs> the squad are cheering on to that laughing okay that man has no loyalty in his blood whenever he is trending i knew it is about the diabolical deeds mm -hmm. all right let's go to the next tweet oh my god i'm already 24 minutes all right next tweet finish the sentence prince william is a so this is me i put two Un unsupportive brother and the other one is backstabber to sister-in-law <laughs> and i put the shade after each one of them okay i don't use that kind of language when people are listening okay <laughs> so she's saying what i want to say i don't want to put it out here treasonous races who lacks family values <laughs> okay sorry i can't i don't want to be banned from twitter <laughs> okay type of cock oh my god type of uh, a solid thrust oh my god uh, and so to they are pleasing and want <laughs> won't call you uh, the n-word okay strong toe rag i just learned that term it's actually toe rag okay someone swear. whatever it is okay L lies don't get me in trouble i'm not saying anything the squad don't even want to answer all right i will be suspended for life from twitter if i say what i want to say incandescent <clears throat> oh my god she put the gif of pile of poop <laughs> Okay, sociopath moment, racist, Prince William is a racist, racist, okay, everybody's putting racist, lazy, sitting on my hand, I'm not going to tweet or jail for him. Okay, it's hard though, how I would like to tell this idiot what I think of him. Okay, prime reason that the UK should dissolve the monarchy already. Okay, palace sauce, very true, eugenic. Okay, former Prime Minister Margaret Tyler said it best. I'm trying to find any redeeming features in these people at all. Sophisticated or cultured or elegant or anything close to an idea. Mm -mm -mm. All these pictures. Oh, our fave is not in that group. Thank God. Okay. Did she really? I've learned something today. Thank you. Idiot. Okay. What the hell is this? <laughs> Eggplant. Oh my God okay all right let me move to another one all right the next tweet okay the success squad podcast again okay i'm at work i saw this and i legit scream so loud thank goodness most of the office gone and i have no admin here running in to ask quote ma'am are you okay <laughs> end quote you people will not unalive me okay 
on a live me okay there's a lot all right so someone responded something and she responded and and with this um and between that he said f you and your bride corpse you the women private part could never be like king heavy and queen megan oh my god you have to see the screen because i'm skipping some words so i don't get the uh, flag here all right there's me here omg by her bride cops okay yeah will not let me mind my business <laughs> one of the squad said you you people are not letting me mind my business okay girl today has been comedic relief watching the racist prince william get dragged by the entire african continent yeah there was a lot of tweet i think i bookmarked for this okay i've been dying laughing this entire day i'm telling you this is the only reason i'm really uh recording today i should be editing yesterday's tweet but i don't want at least the quietness get away from me so i'm i have to record okay i could always get back to this any other time okay i've been dying laughing this entire day all day okay they truly thank our generation of BP will stand by idly and watch with uh, with an uh, uprising. <laughs> My goodness, girl, huh, Shade Room IG has uh, has joined the drag fest. Really, I, I don't go on IG that much, are they? Okay, laughing and black people. My goodness, as well. Okay, that's a different language. All right, so they're dragging somebody. Uh, next tweet. What the hell is this? Did they get into a fight? I'm talking about the GIF next tweet. There's other tweet that relate to that too. Okay, L let me go back. Let me see. Ah, uh, let me go back to the thing and see. <laughs> Look at this one, for instance. I didn't bookmark this, but what is that? Okay, Prince William is always the aggressor when it comes to Harry and Meghan. And that's why Prince Harry said the relationship is space. This another should never be king. Oh my God. Prince William reportedly declined to have little bit christening at Wednesday. What? What the hell is wrong with this guy? If that's true. I didn't bookmark this, but I just saw this while I was trying to go back to the other one. What the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> because of that, I wanted to go. I mean, you know what? When people get upset at him, He's going to tell me where the hell he think his ass is going to go. All right, let's see here. That was, when was it published? Okay, I don't know. He thought it was, quote, wasn't a particularly good idea and could, according to a royal correspondent. Is that what they really, uh, uh, what do you call this? Train him or uh, butter him to be this kind of person? Oh, when come ahead, everybody's going to be laughing everybody's gonna sit back if that is true okay let me read some of the comment i didn't bookmark this is when i was trying to go back to the other one um and i saw okay i'm guessing if they truly asked that heavy didn't want him and his hanger on to present at the uh, christening okay with their miserable face like had this uh the commonwealth all right like it was even an option well and i'm again not taking those babies anywhere near that circus okay did they need his permission though or he was just insecting himself okay we kind of knew i mean I, I, but anyway let me go to the next tweet i didn't even um bookmark this but now it's part of the tweet all right forget the other one that i was gonna go back to all right there's this one the video that i saw of this one is her walking into that classroom the kids did not pay attention to her that's the one i wanted to show you but i can't see it all right on this account so she walked into the room i guess they introduce her the kids just mind their own business all right like it's another person all right Cap uh, caption contest i'll go first quote and that's when i said more buttons and quote. all right that's me uh, responding here kid who do you want from me i know how you were when you were in school it's not like you want to be here go to another student and quote that's me to, um captioning it okay there's another person who's um uh, responding quote when my waist is this big oh wow i think my husband might finally fall in love with me oh my god <laughs> okay all right and this so uh, okay and these two as well please my goodness and now someone posted uh, a picture of megan is this wearing a maroon jacket 
Mm -mm -mm. Trying to copy me again. Now, the last time it was her who made me cry. And so what if I was dictating to her about her wedding day? I'm allowed. <laughs> I'm the English rules. Okay, and that's when I said, want my eyebrow to look like Betty Davis and Mommy Davis. Oh my God. Okay, this is my first time at, at the video. That's the laugh. Okay, I really had the idea to write that book, The Bench First, but Megan made me cry, and by the time I was done, she had it published. Do you have a book I could read? I'm wearing the same color, I just don't have a book. Okay, best one, laughing my ass off. Let me read some few one, and then I'll go to the next one. And that's when I said the recycle button didn't work. I needed to copy Megan again. That's why I copied the clothes she wore when she was in New York. So, I can get little attention, but I can never copy her intelligent sigh. <laughs> Okay, there's another one. After I made her cry, the night I called William while he was in bed with foes at the other house, and I said to him, quote, I'm telling you this quite or something. We can have her in the family. She'll taint the pure white blood, and quote. He agreed, so we started a smear campaign against her. Anyways, what time where you live? All right, look here. Okay, I'm doing this for a PR stunt, so play with me and pretend you give a F. <laughs> I'm sorry, but did she really copy Megan again? The red outfit, what the F? All right, if only she could copy the eloquence. <laughs> okay, this is the, si the size of my husband. Oh my God. Just look at the thing, just look at the screen. This is the size of my husband's. I'm not even gonna say anything after that. Okay, when I clasp my hand together like this, it means I'm saying smart things, but when I wave them about, it means I'm saying important things. So. <laughs> Do you see the difference? No. Hey kid, are you listening? Can you pretend I'm funny and smile since the camera is here? Kid, hello? <laughs> it's only this big. Oh my god, the squad or something. I'm not even there. I'm already bored. Let me read what's on the screen and I'll go to the next one. And then I was like, what do you mean they don't make Fabergé's egg anymore? There's a laugh. So here's the deal. I remain complicit over. You know what? And I get to have weekly photos up with kids for my vanity project. So no one has to hear me make a speech and flap my hands. Okay, look kid, I didn't want to be here either. So just smile for the effing camera. <laughs> that one is a good one. You are a child. I said child stuff. You clap, got it? <laughs> Let me move on. There's other tweet. This quite a crazy with that thing. Next tweet. Okay, I think I just, okay, I did this already. How did I bookmark it twice? All uh, right, did I? Yeah, I did that. All right, there's this one. <laughs> Royal Sussex. The the picture it looks so really nice. It looks really good. All right, the the calls were coming from inside Kensington Palace. Harry and Meghan, Sussex Squad. Okay, it says the calls are coming from the Kensington Palace when stranger <laughs> when a stranger calls. Okay, how about this version? <laughs> Oh my god, Photoshop is really good. I like it. Okay, the same thing here. <laughs> That's me. Next episode of the Chem Bridge Earthton. That's the way I put it. Okay, the calls are coming from the royal family. The royal family are the ones who often leaking to the press. I could hear his voice saying it. Okay, I'm glad they were in their heydays when they were spilling the beans. We see. Thank you very much. All right, for people like it. Color me shack, not racist and jealousy, a hell of a trip. <laughs> okay, no stranger calling this time. They were all coming from Harry's family. Okay, oh, this is good. I can't believe people are surprised. The whole country must have had their heads buried in the sand. Okay, oh, Baron. Petty is your favorite color. I love it, Baron. Good job. It really does capture the conniving and deceitful dark side of these two shady characters, making this make believe poster more real than it is fiction. That is true. It's really nice. I like that uh, Photoshop. He did a very good job with it. Okay, and the name of the nameless, faceless palace source. Okay, Baron, you are awesome. Love how you gave him Trump hands. <laughs> yeah, I saw that hand was small. <laughs> okay, I love it. It's like a horror movie. Sadly, I don't... I, was it? I know was a horror of living for our Madam Duchess of Sussex. It's a horror for us to have to endure this. Horror goes both ways. All right, there's a laugh. This is hilarious. Okay, he is not fit to be king. 
Hmm. Oh, okay, so let me finish with that. Well, boycott BBC, ITV is now favor with William and Kate. <laughs> reported by the Sun newspaper. Hmm, I wonder why. Hardly a day goes by without ITV, Good Morning Britain, Lorraine, This Morning, Loose Women, and their anti Harry and Meghan commentator, Lebasting Harry and Meghan on TV. Really? They still gonna? Later on, I find out is that it's BBC who rejected them and said they already have something lined up. And then they turn it completely to 60 and say something else. All right, there's another tweet from Sussex Square. Okay, LOL Savage. This serves that racist leader of eugenic Prince William, why for not leaving black people alone? Leave us alone, you racist tool bag. Let's see here. She, he be, there's me putting the shade and I'm laughing. She retweeted that. Someone who, I guess, calling William something. If only he will concentrate on the growth and population of his hair follicles instead. I guess that's when he was talking about the... Uh, how do you call this? Uh, the about the African his his worrying about the growing population in Africa, this kind of thing. All right, so uh, this person retweeted that. That's from the Times. Okay, Prince William. This is why. Okay, it's a retweet of another retweet. All right, Prince William has renewed his attack on population growth in Africa, blaming it for destroying wildlife on continent. Critics have accused the prince of hypocrisy for making such claim while expecting his third child. All right. So this one was, a, oh, I guess someone is bring it back to life again. There's other tweet that relate to that. All right. There's me. Uh, no, someone responded again. Okay. Is this your king? <laughs> There's people laughing, laughing, love it, this shade. Uh, well, people just laughing. All right. So a lot of people retweeted this out. Some people call him, uh, what is it? People in Africa been living harmoniously with the wildlife. It's like him who coming in a helicopter and does his nonsense and the, you know, hunting for, uh, what is it? He, he should call, now that I'm thinking about it, he should call his own people, you know, who be going over there hunting those wildlife for fun. My goodness, okay? Next tweet. Okay, Prince Harry said it with his own mouth. People didn't believe him, and now others are saying the same. This man and his wife needs a national apology. The prince and the press. All right, so I did listen to it. I don't know. Uh, I have to look which one of those videos that I already edited where I did, uh, someone was putting little clips here and there of it, and I uh, did the video. All right, I don't know if... Uh, YouTube approve it yet. Okay, there was an opportunity, many opportunities for my family to show some public support. And I guess one of the most telling part and the saddest part, I guess, was over 70 members of parliament, female members of parliament, both conservative and labor, came out and called out the colonial undertone of articles and headlines written about Megan. Yet no one from my family ever said anything over those three years. And that, that hurts. Yeah, I remember that. Reading it again, you could feel it. You could, and little did we know they the one who's uh, who were uh, you know inciting, inciting those kind of thing. He was looking for his support. I, I mean, when you think about it, since Princess Diana uh, died, Harry didn't really get that much support. With the exception, maybe when he goes to his mother's side of the family, that's where he probably get the love and support that he probably needed it from uh, Diana's sisters, but uh, from the royal family, none, none. Whatever the queen had showed him and he so respected her for that, th that's between them two, but I don't think he got the love and affection that he really needed. So they got rid of the mother to be able to train, change the mindset of the, 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 the heir and thank God, uh, Meg uh, I'm saying Megan, Harry didn't buy it. I mean, to a certain extent, maybe he did, but as soon as, you know, he was completely mesmerized once he saw Megan, that was it. I think a little at a time, he, he sees them. Um, yesterday, I was watching a video uh, about, uh, I think, uh, Tamalon Hall, and uh, was it she had, uh, uh, what's her name, Halle Berry there? There was something Halle Berry said. That was very interesting. And I think I've said it in uh, many of my videos when he, uh, 
Halle Berry said, I was like, oh my God, sometimes I, I'm not the only one who thought of that. Like when you put things out into the universe, the universe does hear you. Three years ago when you were on Oprah's show, it stuck with me even when I got pregnant with my son. Um, you said at the time that um, if there's no real serious man, whoever I'm dating at the time, I'll say, hey, would you like to have a baby? I need to have a baby and you're here. You have beautiful children who you protect so I respect how much privacy you've provided them. 20 years ago, since you brought up your younger self, when you said that, it was joking. But how do you process that now? So this is the part that I want uh, you guys to really listen. And because this is something that she said 20 years ago. Now, from 20 years ago, many of us have seen Halle Berry's career. We've seen the ups and downs and a beautiful, a beautiful woman as she is. We've seen she's gone through a lot of, you know, tribulation with her love life. Okay. Of all people, Halle Berry. Okay. So she said something 20 years ago and we could see. Okay. It's not like we imagine. It's not like I'm saying humble opinion anymore. This is fact. Actually fact. We could see her life. What she said 20 years ago, um, what is it, uh, Tamarin Hall had read the thing and we could see how her, uh, her life have manifested till now and based on what she had said. This is why I said you have to be careful what you say into the universe, whether you believe in God or you believe in the tree, you believe in the universe. The universe hears you. The universe hears you. Of all people, Halle Berry, something she said jokingly, and it happened to her. That's the thing. Let's listen to it. And what I realized is you can't even joke about things like that because what we think about is exactly what we create. So I was saying, if I don't have someone, I'm just going to find someone. And, I, and I'm my, more mindful now about what I say to myself and what I think about because I'm powerful. We're powerful. Our thoughts are powerful and we can manifest that. So knowing that going into this phase of my life, I was very mindful what I was manifesting for myself and realizing I would never settle again. I would go without before I would go with the wrong or something that wasn't servicing me, right? And meeting this way, there was nothing to do but talk and get to know. And I really got to understand that this was a person for me. And only I know that it's different because only I know I've gone about it differently. Yeah. So therefore I can confidently say, this is my person because it, he, I was in love with this person before I ever met this person, oh. you know? And that's never happened to me, ever. And uh, I want to do a review of that show. And she has another show, um, another episode that she did and I would like to do a review. So there will be a video coming soon. I'll review the whole scene the whole part of Halle Berry and someone else that uh, she interviewed I think is a princess of somewhere um, I forgot where but I thought that was a very interesting thing all right and um, Halle Berry says something in that sense there was another video that I was watching from time on her. what was it oh there were two uh, uh, one of the princess from another country. I forgot the, which country is that. All right. She has a boyfriend, a black boyfriend. And I think Tamlin Hall have them on, uh, on, and they were talking about how they met. And then the boyfriend was like, his mom told him since he was uh, 15 years old, go do your thing because you're going to be married into that. You're going to be part of that royal family in that specific country whatever it may be and then um, there was another part where he said the first time he met her he said something like uh, where have you been all my life or something like that I don't remember exact word and each time the the princess told him this is what he said when he first met her he said he had he have no clue he doesn't remember saying any of that you know, so I'm telling you, sometimes as I'm saying this, my body's shivering. The universe have a way of interact with people. It's unbelievable. I'll find the links and put it for you guys. All right. So I just read this about uh, Harry. All right. Let's see here. This poor couple, since they met, they have been harassed, slandered, had okay, had both sides of their family turned on them to the media, had to flee their country, and threat. Uh, had threat made while their security was denied. It is a public lynching, despicable. 
I mean, each time you think about it, this person is right. Each time when you think about it, what Princess Diana had to go through, it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable because they did the same thing in a way. Well, I wasn't following Princess Diana that much, plus I was young. I don't think I, I had a clue or anything like that. I remember when she passed, um, but um, it was really, really sad uh, seeing what Harry is going to, what probably the amount of effort they put to slander her, to make her life a music, uh, living hell. And then this is what really hurt a lot of people to side with Harry is the older brother to side with the same group of people who put his mom under the ground. Eventually, Princess Diana would have died at some point. All of us, all of us. But the quickness, the uh, the way that she went, you know, trying to run away from them and uh, the older brother sided with the same people. Okay, international apologies. Uh, next tweet. <laughs> that was a short uh, tweet, but I ended up making it long.